Okay, welcome everyone. John here with ContraBIM, and I want to do a quick tutorial series on Trimble RealWorks because it's a uh, pretty cool software, um, excellent for uh, registering point clouds and also doing some quick production work to really clean things up and uh, prepare for export. So, um, in, in about this, uh, we'll do about 10 parts of this uh, uh, tutorial series and covering a lot of different topics and kind of the key things that I look for. Um, while performing this post registration. So, um, okay, so let's take a real quick look at this project. I'm going to switch to a parallel mode. And I actually like looking at things based on intensity to start. It kind of gives me a good idea of, um, uh, you know, the, the intensity of the points at different locations and those different surf surfaces. So it's, uh, this is essentially a single floor out of a 14 story building. And um, so this is one of the last floors and thought I would do um, some quick videos on uh, some of the main things that I've I've learned using the software and um, things that I think could be helpful to you. So um, so right now we're actually in the registration mode and there's a few things that I want to uh, point out before we switch to production mode, which is where all the, the rest of the videos will take place. And the one of the first things that I wanna just ensure that I have set up in the project is I want this entire project to be aligned um, as closely as possible to the XY plane and I want to set this project down at zero so that the floor of the points are at zero. So the way we do that is by using the registration tool um, or the registration tab and under the orientation uh, toolbar we have the option of doing some basic um, alignment. So what I'm going to be using, there's actually a uh, an automatic access definition and we can run this real quick and that usually gets us pretty close but I have found that there's been some some uh, situations where it isn't exactly how I want it to to be so um, we can see that it's doing it automatically registered it to, to be in this axis we can uh, rotate it around and this is actually I need to keep going like that so that that is um, in the correct orientation to the floor plans so um, so that gets us pretty close um, if, if I use the top of the screen to kind of zoom in and crop a little bit, it looks like those corners are pretty, pretty good. But another thing that I've found tends to be a little bit more accurate is actually using the face of the columns. And so um, if I come in here, we can use this other option here, which is define um, with two points. Um, I can essentially pick the face of this column right here and I'll pull it all the way across and I'll use the face of the column on this side for completing that alignment. And as we click here, we can see that sometimes it'll give it a slight rotation. In this case, I don't think it really rotated it much, but, um, but yeah, I like just doing that quick check just to uh, get it as close as possible, um, as flat to the screen as I possibly can. Um, okay, so with that, I'm gonna accept these results this and apply this transformation. So it'll double check and we want to continue there. Okay, so with that, we're pretty well aligned to our, uh, our XY plane. Um, and the other step that I wanted to go over here really quickly is actually about setting the project to zero. So if we zoom in from the bottom and we'll look at this in perspective for a moment, I know my, uh, my first scan on this project is actually right around here. I think this was my first scan. And so what I want to do is I can actually come in and, um, pick a measurement point and just see what these elevations are currently. So if I click right here, it's telling me right now that the floor in this case is minus 4.405. Um, so I don't want that. I want it to actually be set at um, essentially at zero. So the way that I do that is I'm gonna switch back to a parallel mode. I'm gonna look at it from the top. And again, this is the area I wanna take my measurement on. And we can crop out our, our view by just simply clicking our limit box and clicking right in the area that we want. And we'll just turn this to the side. I wanna cut this down so that I can see essentially just the top of the floor. So I'm gonna cut out all the other stuff we don't need. And I'm gonna, again, click so I'm looking at it from the top. And then I'm gonna go into that orientation tool again and I'm gonna be picking my zero point. So I'm gonna be essentially picking my origin because right now my origin is, you can actually see the crosshairs and it's placed at the, uh, the location of that first scan. I'm just gonna temporarily move my origin off and about right about here 
to represent that zero point. So it's essentially going to take the floor, the point that I just clicked, and it's going to apply that as zero. Um, in one of the later videos, we'll actually go through and we're going to align the entire project to our um, our project grids, and we'll use a CAD file to do that. But um, this, at the moment, this at least uh, gets us to the point where um, we're oriented in our X, Y axis, and we have our floor of the project set down to zero. Okay, so that about is about it for the alignment that I like doing. Um, I want to always make sure to save those changes. And so in the next video, we're going to be jumping over to production mode and talking about cleaning up the file and cleaning up the points.